Well, the countdown to Election Day continues, and today we're taking it to Chicago's north side, where a four-way race for a seat inside the state house has top Democrats divided. WGN political reporter Jamon Bradley is here with more. Hello, Jamon. Hello, Micah and Ray. There's a fascinating state Senate primary we're closely tracking. It has the Illinois Senate president and a proxy battle with the Chicago Teachers Union. There's big money and big names involved. As millions flow into a local state Senate primary, a prominent national figure is trying to sway voters. The contest is Senate District 20, extremely progressive northwest side turf that includes Belmont Cragen, Bucktown, and Logan Square. The incumbent is Natalie Toro. I'm Natalie Toro, running to make our neighborhood safer with increased funding for crime reduction programs. Toro was appointed after Christina Passioni Zayas resigned to become Mayor Brandon Johnson's Deputy Chief of Staff. She's a kindergarten teacher, but the Chicago Teachers Union decided to back rival Graciela Guzman, a CTU organizer. Guzman got a boost this week by nabbing the support of Senator Bernie Sanders. We're one of the most progressive districts across the state. Um, and so having someone who f supports and affirms affordable health care, um, the right to housing, all of these progressive values is just one more really important endorsement in our community. The fundraising is extraordinary. Toro has received more than $1 million from Senate President Don Harmon's campaign operation, while Guzman has gotten a quarter of a million dollars in counting from CTU. Guzman is also supported by Democratic Socialist politicians like Carlos Ramirez Rosa and Rosana Rodriguez Sanchez. There are prominent socialists backing you on city council. How do you identify politically? Yeah, I'm a proud progressive, and I think that's the beautiful part about getting to do this work here in community. I have the support of folks at all levels of government. The Toro campaign says the candidate was too busy rallying voters to take our questions today. Among their activities, sending out this text of Toro with Governor Pritzker. The Guzman campaign called it desperate. Asked about the text, Governor Pritzker made clear he's staying out of the race. Not been, I'm not endorsing, haven't been engaged in endorsement in that race. Also competing, Dave Nyack, a doctor who owns a farming business and runs a free asthma and allergy clinic. Our campaign is rooted in ideas. Firstly, we have a plan to deliver better access to health care, especially to those who don't have it, who are uninsured. I'd be the only senator who is a practicing doctor in the Senate. I'm going to try as best as I can to drive down these insane deductible costs, these rising prescription drug costs. Nyack has put about $700,000 of his own money into the race, but he's failed to win support from prominent local officials. How do you win? You, where are your supporters? Absolutely. So make no mistake, Taman, we're an outsider in this race, and we relish being the outsider. Rounding out the Democratic field, Gary Yonker, a community organizer who ended last year with just $6,900 in his bank account. Senator Toro provided us with a statement saying in part, as state senator, I plan to continue fighting in Springfield to realize the progressive goals shared by working families across my district. Mike Henry. Thank you, Taman.